The drawing room was Lady Jane's equivalent of Lennox's library, and he knew its contents by heart. It was a rather wide room, and also looked out over the street. The wall on the right side was covered with paintings of the countryside, and on the far end was a fireplace that reached nearly to the ceiling, with a bronze sculpture of the Duke of Wellington standing on the mantel, to the left of which there was a desk. In the middle of the room was a group of sofas, one of which, a rose-coloured one, being where Lady Jane always sat. And there she was when Lennox came in. "'Oh, Charles,' she said, standing and rushing toward him. There was no deviant nephew he saw immediately. Something had gone seriously wrong. He took both of her hands and led her back to the couch. "'Have you had your tea?' Lennox said. "'No, I'd forgotten,' she said. "'Kirk!' She stopped speaking and looked to Charles, still gripping his hands. "'Kirk,' he said, to the butler, still standing at the door, "'bring us two glasses of warm brandy. Have someone come in to fix the fire as well, and then bring us tea with a bit of food.' "'Very good, sir.' Lennox looked at Lady Jane and smiled. "'It will be all right, old friend,' he said. "'Oh, Charles,' she said again, despairingly. A footman came in and gave them each a small silver-handled glass. Lady Jane drank her brandy, and then drank Lennox's when he handed it to her, while the footman prodded the fire back into shape. Then she began to speak. "'It's ridiculous, I know,' she said, "'but I feel a bit as though I'm in shock.' "'What happened, my dear?' asked Lennox. "'Do you remember a girl named Prudence Smith, Charles, a maid I used to have? We called her Prue.' He paused to think. "'No, I don't,' he said. "'She left about three months ago to work for George Barnard, because her fiancé is a footman in his house. "'And what's the matter with her?' "'She's dead,' said Lady Jane, and took the last sip of brandy in her glass to steady her nerves. "'I'm so sorry,' he said. "'I know,' she said. "'It's too, too awful. "'Do you have any idea of how she died?' Poison, I think. That's what the housemaid here says. It was she who heard the news. Murder? Or suicide? I don't know. How appalling. It's too much to ask. Never. I was hoping. Of course, he said. He looked outside. He would have to begin right away. The snow was falling even harder, and it was almost dark. But he turned back to her, smiled cheerfully, and said, I'd better go over while the trail is fresh.